Tuncha. Yes, Mata. Sadno. Hardik and Nasty. Wealthy. Benzi Chimnalubal. At the Zed. Kinamashi and Abaka. Nushalara. Web. Nady Chogol. Ooh, Bruni Chavla. Yeah, Grella. Then a bob. Teen Manalva. Hey guys, it's me, Stella, and welcome back to my channel. So, today, finally, I have for you guys another part of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Now, I know it has been a very long time since I have uploaded this or anything on my channel, um, and I just wanted to quickly apologize for that, but we're gonna, we're gonna... We're gonna breeze right past it. If you want, like, further explanation, you can always watch my update video that I did. But, let- I- you know what? I- I'm here to play some goddamn Sims, so let's get into it. Um, so, you guys were greeted with a little short at the beginning of this video, um, showing a couple of strangers coming up to Angie's door, having a not so pleasant conversation with her. So let me, let me give a little explanation as to what actually went down in that conversation. So basically, those two old hags <laughs> in the beginning of this video, it were actually Angie's grandparents. Now, her grandparents are incredibly wealthy and um, incredibly well-known. Her uh, grandfather is actually a really important public figure. He is the mayor of one of the towns. And her grandmother does a lot in business as well. She's very, she, her name is very much so out there as well. So basically, that's sort of why they came to see her. Of course, they were able to track her down because, you know, where there's money and wealth, there are connections. And basically, the grandmother, um, <laughs> in not so certain terms, offered Angie a lot of money for her to give up her child for adoption. And what I mean by a lot of money is five million dollars. Five million simoleons <laughs> in exchange for Angie to give up her child for adoption because their, you know, their family name, the grandparents, they're already, already kind of smeared trying to deal with um, Angie's mother, running away from them, having her baby out of wedlock. So they, they, were, they were trying to break the cycle, apparently. Um... And see if Angie was willing to be up for a little uh, trade offer. <laughs> trade offer. You get five million dollars in exchange for your child. And it came with a little, a little bit of a, uh, a, a hanger. Um, if she refuses the offer, her grandmother is going to tell her mom where she's at. And... You know, who knows what her mom will do with that information if she'll try and track her down. You know, who knows? But yeah, that's kind of what happened. Obviously, <laughs> uh, it doesn't really need to be said that Angie um, did not accept the grandmother's offer. Not even, not even a consideration because that is her freaking child. Um, so there was, there was no, there was no choice in the matter. Her grandmother, however, did give her exactly 
one sim day to make this choice because Danny is aging up in one sim day. So she has one sim day to give up her child for adoption, and if not, then her mom will be informed of where she's at right now. So, um, like I said, Angie's not going to do it. It's, the grandmother gave her a meeting spot at the city hall as to where to have the exchange tomorrow. Uh, if Angie, some for some reason, decided to accept the offer... They are to meet at City Hall at exactly 3 p.m. tomorrow if she wants to participate in this trade offer. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what I was working on um, while I've been gone. I was like, how do I make how do I make the Runaway Teen Challenge kind of kind of epic, kind of cool, kind of fun? Um, and I was like, you know what? This sounds great. <laughs> this sounds lovely. So, uh, yeah, you know what, we're going to spend actually, instead of, you know, giving our baby up for adoption, what we're actually going to do is spend a lot more extra time with little Danny. And we need to really teach her how to walk and talk. So we're just, you know, we're just going to spend a little bit of time with her. You know, it's like for, for Angie, the idea of her giving up her beautiful little Danny is like just an abomination <laughs> like it's actually cursed that she was even given the proposition to do so so she's just gonna spend a little bit of time giving danny some love and just building that relationship i'm pretty sure yeah they're already best friends so not much more needs to be built but you know give her give her some love <laughs> let her know she's loved type of deal and we're gonna teach her how to walk first actually um, like I said, we really, we really need to work on, let me see, uh, okay, she doesn't, her, her needs are all good right now, so we really need to work on just teaching her how to walk and talk, and Angie does have work at 4 p.m., so we have about four hours to get something going, and if all goes well, Angie might, might get a little, um, promotion, which a promotion would be just much needed right now. Much needed right now. But we're gonna we're gonna watch this. Angie is like Angie is like absolutely. There would never in a million years be a way that I would give up my little Danny. But yes, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird that her mom might be coming back into the picture. Um. You know, I have been working on a separate, like, what's going on with her mom and what her mom's up to, just to sort of keep it, like, up to date with what's going on in this Let's Play. So, I think, I think you guys will be <laughs> pretty, pretty interested in, uh, in what's been going on with her mom and everything. Um, because I already know what's up, but you guys don't, so... All right, I'm going to speed this up. I hope you guys are doing well. I am so sorry for how long it took me to, like, get back into, like, recording another video. I really want to actually get back into all-in-one as well. Um, I know that's, like, a a fan favorite, I, I suppose. Okay, we are, we are not going to get anywhere with this whole walking business. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, um, oh, hey guys. What's up? Oh, wow, there's a lot of you. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I like, I am stunned. I am stunned at how her grandparents were able to figure out, like, pinpoint exactly what town, exactly, like, where in this, because she is, like, hidden, you know what I mean? Like, it's not exactly easy, even if you're just trying to drive by. It's not easy to see that there's even a damn house. Okay, why don't we just land it in the trees? But, like, okay, where am I? <laughs> where am I? Okay. It's not exactly easy to see that there's, like, a house back there. Or that it's even, like, livable. Like, that it's not just, like, abandoned in there. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. We really gotta go to work. <laughs> okay. We got her halfway. That's pretty good. 
that's pretty good. We really got to work on it tomorrow. Um, I feel like, yeah, Angie's going to be a little bit nervous to even leave Danny um, right at the moment because of everything that just happened. Like, she doesn't want her child to get, like, abducted while she's at the damn grocery store doing work. Putting in work. Like, come on now. But we, we do- Okay, what the fuck are you doing here, bud? <laughs> Who are you serving treats to, huh? Who's there? Nobody. Making no money. Bad hustle right there. Bad hustle. <laughs> Go in the middle of the city or to, like, more residential area. This ha this area has, like, I swear, like, two houses. One of them being ours. <laughs> Alright, but I'm going to actually skip until she's- oh my gosh, she's so late for work. I'm gonna skip until she's back from work. Alright guys, so Angie is back from work. I actually had her work a little bit later today to put in some overtime, um, because she got to work pretty late, um, but she is actually probably, hopefully, going to get a promotion. The next time she goes to work. Also, she got a uh, a raise. She got a four simoleon raise, which is pretty damn good. I'm gonna have her take a shower and just head to bed early today. <laughs> early, quote unquote. <laughs> um, I did buy her some pots for her plants because they were all going dormant, and I do not want that. So hopefully they'll thaw out in a little bit. Um, in a little bit of time, hopefully. <laughs> Look at it. she's already ready for bed. Did we potty train her at least or not yet? I like I feel like okay. I feel like we did. Did we? I don't know. I can't tell. I literally can't tell. Um Let me grab her then. After we take this shower. And I think I'm going to have Angie... Oh, Angie does not have work tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna have her skip anyways um, for Danny's birthday. So, there we go. God, I'm so excited for Danny to be a little child. She doesn't have to have a damn babysitter. <laughs> I hate that that's the part I'm the most excited for. Not like... Not like, oh, like our child is growing. Oh my god, she hasn't been potty trained. <laughs> she hasn't been potty trained. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we have to literally spend all day tomorrow just working on, just working on all her skills. Okay, she's almost done with potty training. She's, she's close. She's close to being done with that. So that's, that's real good. We probably only need one more, one more time with her and she'll be all Gucci. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have them go ahead and go to bed, and I will skip until the morning. Okay, so Danny is officially awake, as you can hear. Um, I went ahead and had uh, Angie take care of the plants because they finally thawed out. I did have her buy, unfortunately, um, some groceries at her, at the end of her shift because I wasn't sure how long it would take for the plants to thaw out. Thank God they did thaw out um, pretty soon, pretty like the next night, so that's fine. But today is Danny's birthday, so I'm thinking we're going to do something real fun for her. Probably take her out to the festival. I don't know how she has... <laughs> okay. Angie has been freaking out, like, every five seconds, I swear, I swear, uh, um, but we really, really need to get Danny all ready to go, like, real bad, all ready to go for aging up, so we might just have her finish getting potty trained right now, please? Yes, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Even the game said. They were like, oh baby, this girl is not gonna turn out good, thank god. <laughs> but I think we're gonna take her to the festival today. Um, just cause, just cause I feel like that would be fun for her birthday. Cause we can't exactly throw her like a party or anything. Uh, so I might try and maybe, um, I wanna change her diaper. I might try and maybe buy her a cake. Maybe? 
if possible, if I can just set it on the floor and then take it with me, that would be great, actually. Um, we don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna just say that, like, we can't afford, like, a big-ass cake. Because <laughs> I have cute- I have real cute cakes that I have that are custom content, but, you know. Alright, so she is all ready to go, so let's head out. You know what? Let's get a head start on the day. <laughs> let's not be out till, like, 3 in the morning. <laughs> And, um, let's just head over to the fall festival, I think. I think it's a fall festival. Um, and yeah, that'll be real, that'll be real nice for, for my girl Danny to have for her birthday. And hopefully... God willing. Okay, we're not going to a damn dance. So we don't go to high school. <laughs> um, let's let's get over there. Let's do this, please. <laughs> also, Angie is aging up into adult in adult in three days, which is like so crazy to me. Like everybody's growing up so fast. Angie is probably gonna start thinking about you know who she wants to be with. Meeting new people, that kind of stuff. And once and I'm, I'm sorry, once Danny is a child, like she can actually go out and do things. You know what I mean? Um, but also <laughs> because f personally, personally, I think that um, Danny finding a, I mean Angie finding a partner would be a good scenario because we kind of we kind of need some money. We kind of need a little bit of help in the monetary department. So that would be kind of the best bet. That would be the best bet. All right. So here we are at the festival. And we're going to do our best to, like, rack up some tickets here. Be okay. Because, um, because the tickets, they bring in some money. Like, look at that. We have, how many tickets do we have? We have 30 tickets and we already have, like, 100 simoleons from that. Like, that's pretty damn good. So we're going to set uh, little Danny down there and we're going to try and we're going to try and play some games here. It's already actually no, we're not. No, we're not. What we're going to do actually is teach her how to walk and we just we're just not going to be able to teach her how to talk. There's just no time. So we just need to we really just need to like teach her how to uh, walk before <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> so I feel like if we at least have her potty trained and taught how to walk, we are solid. We have till like about 8 p.m. I think until like she'll automatically age up. So hopefully we can do this. Hopefully we can do this. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> kind of tense right now. Kind of tense right now about this. Oh god. Okay, come on, we can do this, guys. We can do this. Let's get it going. Oh god, I don't know if we can do this. I swear, if it, like, if we can't get it, if she cancels this interaction right when we're about to get it, I'm gonna be just, like, so upset. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. I can already feel I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset. No. No! Oh, <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? Ugh, damn it. She's gonna age up bad, all because I couldn't fucking teach her to walk in, like, I literally needed five more minutes with her. I Danny, you're on my last nerve. I bought you a cake and everything. What the fuck, girl? She's like, nah, I just can't wait. It's my turn. Ready or not, bitches. Here she comes. <laughs> God damn it, Danny. God damn it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, she has developed the loves the heat trait. Fine. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Oh, look at her with the damn pigtails. <laughs> I love it when my children have pigtails. I love it when my men sims age up and have pigtails. No, that that's my favorite part. No, literally, girl. Change into your everyday wear. Let me, let me show the crowd what I'm talking about. Let me show the crowd what I'm talking about. It's these. 
I love it when my male sims age up with these damn pigtails. <laughs> the ones with the bow ties are actually amazing. All right, guys. Um, so then, <laughs> obviously, we missed our uh, whatever that was supposed to be. Our, uh, our meetup time with our grandma, because obviously, again, like that wasn't an option for us. So... We're gonna spend the day with our damn daughter. So hurry up, hurry up and, and enter a piting contest with your daughter. With your daughter, Angie. Angie, get over here and enter a piting contest with your daughter. What do you think this is, Angie? You better let her win, it's her damn birthday. <laughs> Guys, everybody, let my daughter win. It's her damn birthday. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And she has brunette hair, which is honestly perfect. I think I- I did I have to change it? I did have to change it when she was a toddler. Oh my god, here we go! I'm actually surprised we have enough people here to be doing this. Okay. Okay, it's- we have- we have a- a 50% chance of winning here. It's two versus two here, so come on. No. You stop that. You stop that. What the fuck is your name? You stop that, Mark. Mark, like I said, we need this. We need this. Mark, let us have this. We don't have a refrigerator. <laughs> Please, Mark. This is... Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Absolute dickhead. This is why you can't trust a Mark. Go back to business school, I'm sorry. Alright, well, shit. <laughs> she is not happy. She is not- okay, now she's happy. Oh, we are- oh, baby. <laughs> Alright, Mark, you asshole. Good for you. I'm so glad that you- oh, and we're nauseous now. Good. We want to enroll her in military school. Absolutely not. She wants to crash a party. Ooh, can we take a greeting card photo or can we not? Because it's like too late. Oh, I think it's too late. Yeah. Well, it is 10 p.m. So we had a we had a good successful day though. We spent 30 simoleons on a cake for absolutely nothing that is now going to be forever stuck in this building because it's closed. So, no, that's good. Just doing our part, you know, for the kids who get taken here and then have their birthdays almost forgotten. Baby, do you want, like, someone to enter with you? I'm feeling a bit too nauseous. Baby, there's no one here. Danny, sweetheart. I don't know. I don't think you're gonna get anyone to play with you here. Oh my god, I thought that was someone coming. <laughs> it's just a damn horse. Um, yeah, we gotta go, actually. <laughs> it's it's pretty late. Um, oh, you're here. Hello. Paparazzi. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna... S <sighs> Look at that! 200 simoleons, 25 simoleons. Look at that. We are never here when it's... When this place is open, I swear. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna carpool together though. Let me. Where are we? <laughs> Where's our house? I'm lost. Okay, okay, it's over here. We got some, we got a little bit of decorating to do because uh, Danny needs her own bed now, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting <laughs> to see what's gonna happen. With our space up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, do it off camera, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Danny is a freaking child now. I cannot believe it. Her favorite color is black. Oh my God, her emo child. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, they both have bikes. Oh, that's lovely. That is so lovely. So now Danny could just stay out as late as she wants, just picking shit off the ground. Probably dog shit, if I had to guess, sometimes, you know? 
Oh, wait. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Guys, this is this is the jackpot. Okay? This is worth um you know what? It's a Saturday. It's a it's a Sunday. Fuck, it's a Sunday. Let's get these damn flowers. <clears throat> oh, I think she literally has to go home. I think she has absolutely no choice. That's fine. Okay. You can go home. That's actually, that's better. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's the right thing to do. <laughs> we shouldn't, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't encourage our daughter to be out picking flowers at damn 12 a.m. You know? Oh, she's gonna go puke, isn't she? What is she doing? Girl, what was that? <laughs> she was just running around, having a good time. 12 a.m. Okay, now she's gonna throw up. There we go. I was like, I was waiting for it. I was like, come on now. Let's get it going. <laughs> just right in the middle of the flower field. Just <laughs> puking her guts out. <laughs> Love it. That's just Angie. She's, she's just like that. Baby, why are we pathing like that? <laughs> Something is wrong here. Why are we pathing like that? No. I don't care. She is a teenager. I don't care. I don't care. We need the money. Okay? Game. Don't shame me about breaking curfew. We need the money real bad. <laughs> Alright, one more. One more. Alright, well, now it's the... Now it's the moment. Let's see. Let's see what we got, okay? Let's see what the hell we got. All right, we got a nice rare one. This is this is our furniture. This is literally going to be our furniture. Straight up. Okay. Sheesh. Okay, good stuff. This is good stuff. This is great stuff, I might even say. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> All right, well... That's about, that's going to be about it for me, um, for this part. Oh, shit, that hurt. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we had a, we had a big, a big part, this part. A lot, a lot happened. And we'll see what happens in the next part as far as, you know, what happens with her grandparents, if they end up telling her mom how that's all gonna work and in the next part you guys will see a brand new hopefully little <laughs> redone house for uh danny to sleep in and yeah i'm so excited to be back and i hope you guys are um gonna enjoy me being back as much as i am <laughs> and yeah i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye guys